Hi there guys what's up this is your friend and tutor Manas and guys I'll be beginning this new lecture series on scales and to be very specific I'll be discussing problem based on plane scales as well as diagonal scales so let's see what the problem has in store here we go construct a scale of 1 is to 4 to show centimeters and long enough to measure up to 5 decimeters all right so two different units have been given to us in this particular problem one is centimeters and one is decimeter and you should know this that one decimeter is equivalent to 10 centimeters all right so let's move forward so we have this representative fractor that is one is to four or you can also say that the true dimension will be reduced by four times okay now guys the scale that we are supposed to prepare should be able to measure up to 5 decimeters so the maximum length is obviously 5 decimeters let's move ahead and let's get the value of length of scale now length of scale is given by this formula that is rf multiplied by maximum length so we have rf as 1 by 4 and we have maximum length as 5 decimeters so let's let's just put in all these values and let's see what happens so we have this length of scale rf has no units and this maximum length has a unit decimeter so this if you do this calculation this is 5 1 is 5 and divide by 4 it would work out as 1.25 decimeters but unfortunately the issue is the scale that we do have is a centimeter scale the physical scale or a ruler that i'm talking about is is something which has dimensions in millimeters or in centimeters okay in india the most popular scale or ruler is having uh, a dimensional unit as centimeters or in millimeters now let's move forward and let's see what else can be done and hence we need to convert this decimeters into centimeters now guys one decimeter is equivalent to 10 centimeter so the next thing to do is in place of this decimeter we'll be writing 10 centimeters so let's do that and on doing this calculation 5 10 50 over 4 50 over 4 is obviously 12.5 that's it so the length of our scale has worked out as 12.5 centimeters okay job done now let's start with the construction so initially i'll be drawing a line equivalent to 12.5 centimeters something like this all right now this represents 12.5 centimeter in drawing sheet but in reality this represents maximum length what is the maximum length it is equivalent to 5 decimeters so you can also say that the line over here represents a maximum of 5 decimeters but what to do now man as an engineer we should be able to make sure that this scale is good enough to read up to 1 decimeters and for that I'll be dividing this line into five equal parts and for that I'll be making a line randomly at any angle and of any suitable length something like this and then with a radii of one centimeter I'll be putting up arcs starting from this point as the center I'll put up the first arc and then this as the center second arc third fourth and this is going to be the fifth arc now the next step is extremely important guys you need to make use of a mini drafter you can keep your mini drafter over here all right and then with this point and this point you need to join these two points okay that's it and then tighten the screw then take your drafter ahead over here that is at the fourth arc all right and then again you need to draw a line you can clearly see that these two lines are absolutely parallel to each other okay and if you keep on moving your drafter to this point this point this point you'll ultimately realize that all the lines drawn are absolutely parallel to each other and eventually this dark line that i've made gets divided into five equal parts that's it now in the next step i'll be giving a height to the scale let us say this is going to be one centimeters and let's finish this let's start drawing lines from these intersection points like this all right so this is basically the skeleton of the scale and in the next step i'll be uh, providing designations to all these markings okay guys let's move ahead uh, i'll be drawing four lines over here this is the first second third fourth now you can clearly see the dif difference between this line and this line over here this line appears as if it's very light and you should use a 4 edge pencil for doing this and this line which i have drawn can be drawn with the help of an edge pencil it should be dark all right now in between these two lines i'll be placing numbers okay now at the end of the first division i'll be writing a zero over here something like this okay this is going to be one this is going to be two three and four now each division is equivalent to one decimeter okay so at the end of first division if you write place a zero this is going to be one decimeter two decimeter three four that's it now to the right of zero we have the main unit in the form of decimeter and to the left of zero we are having the subunit okay and one decimeter is equivalent to 10 centimeters we all know that and somewhere over here in between i'll be writing representative fraction rf that is equivalent to one is to four that's it to the right of zero main unit decimeter to the left of zero subunit centimeter that's it 
Now this portion of the scale over here represents one decimeter, and one decimeter is equivalent to ten centimeters. So in order to see a division of one centimeter each, what you need to do is you need to divide this section over here into ten equal parts, and for that the process is pretty simple. Okay, and something like this, you can you have to make arcs over here, ten arcs. All right, since this has to be divided into ten equal parts. Now these arcs that I'm going to draw are of five millimeters. You can always change the arc radii. That's it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's it. Now let's join this point with this point. Okay, since this is this much is the portion that we need to divide into ten equal parts. Let's do that. Now you can keep your trapezoid over here. Okay, tighten the screw, move it to the ninth point, and then draw a line. You can clearly see that these two lines are absolutely parallel to each other. Keep on doing so from the eighth point seven six five four. Three, two, one. That's it. You can clearly see that this line gets divided into ten equal parts. All right. In the next step, I'll be shifting these points somewhere here. This line that I've drawn is at a height of five millimeters, say, and I have to shift this point over here and draw a line. Then this point, draw a line. Something like this. And please watch it carefully. You can keep your trapezoid absolutely set and bring it over this first point, say, and then you need to draw a line, something like this. Then shift your drafter slightly ahead towards this point, and then draw a line yet again. Now keep on repeating this process until you have all these ten markings. All right. So this over here, this small portion over here, guys, represents one centimeter. This portion over here represents two centimeter. If you keep on going ahead, you will see that this much distance, this much distance represents five, and this much represents ten centimeters. So this over here, guys, is exactly what you call a plane scale. Now I'll be telling you the color code. Now in this particular drawing, wherever you see a dark and thick line, you need to use an edge pencil. For writing purposes, for writing numbers, alphabets, uh, you need to make use of an edge pencil. And wherever you see these so-called lighter lines. Thinner lines, you need to make use of a four-inch pencil. So this is the color code which you're going to be using uh, for preparing this construction on a drawing sheet or on a plain sheet of paper. So that was all from my side, guys. I believe that you liked the video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Let us meet again with a new problem and with a new set of ideas. So this is Manas Patnaik signing off. Take care, have a great day, and keep drawing.